what's up and today i'm going to show you how to fold this origami puffer fish by sifo mabona it is a very fun model and it can get big and even collapse to super skinny like that so let's get into the tutorial the diagrams for this model are in the origami tan titan convention number 14. so this isn't going to be the size of the paper i'm using if you use this size the whole time the puffer fish would be about this big Something like that but I'm gonna use this paper this is double tissue and it was folded out of a 21 inch square so this is what I'm gonna be using once we get into more of the details like that but for now to show the beginning I'm gonna use this 10 inch square but we're gonna start right here you should um, have a two colored paper so on this I use I um, got both sides are colored as you can see with the um, splotches on them so this is not a, a one side colored model it will use both sides of the paper so you can see with this one I used 10 inch with white and that's what the that shows up right there so I would recommend using all one color for paper but I'm gonna start on this one right here so to start this model we're gonna fold in half this way in both directions so like this and then unfold and fold in half the other way like this Now we're gonna unfold and fold diagonally in half. and unfold so that is there now we're going to take one corner and fold it to the center so just like that and fold that to the center like that now we're going to turn it over like this so that's where the corner is and then fold this edge up to the top right there And you should see the crease should be right on line with that right there. And these side points should line up right there, right there. So now we're gonna take this edge and fold it over to the center like this and you can fold it just to that corner and then it'll follow that crease in there. We'll go to the center and then this will be in line right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Like that. So now what we're gonna do is we have all these corners we're gonna take this corner and fold it out to the side here, and you can line it up again by seeing that crease right there. Staying on that. And it should go right, and then do it on the other side. Right to there. And it should go right to these points right there and right there. So that's what the model should look like. Now we're going to take the top point and fold it down so that it goes kind of like those other points. 
it should go right to the corner right there. And then same on this side. Like that. Now, we're gonna take all of these points and unfold them. So, well, just the side ones. Just fold them right like that. And now we're gonna rabbit ear all the points. So this, to rabbit ear, you fold this edge over just to the line, like that. And then make, I like just to, just for, to grab this, then pivot it over and make this. Like that. And then do the same thing on these. On this one, so we're gonna do that. and then fold this edge down, like that. And then, now we're gonna take this point and grab it here too, but it's gonna be up in this color because it's um, not folding in, it's pivoted back. Like that. So those are all the points that we need. And this will be these will be the fins, um, the side fins, and this will be the fin on top. So now we're just gonna fold the entire model in half just to reinforce this crease that was in there. Just make that crease again, like that. Now we're gonna fold the edges to the center, and this um. The diagrams say there's a bunch of folding through a lot of layers, but I'm not a big fan of folding through a lot of layers. So what I do is I unfold the sides here and then fold this back over like that and do the same thing on this side. And then now I um, divide this all the times it needs to be divided. So we're gonna take these sections first and fold them in half. Like that, and you can just see, you can also reverse this fold if you want to. And just fold over to the middle. And then unfold, and then do the same thing on this side. Just take this and fold the middle. So that's what that should look like. Increases. So now we should have this, like that. And now you should see we have six sections here. We're gonna divide them all in half um, a few more times. We're gonna divide them in half three more times. So we're gonna fold this edge to here, like this. So we're gonna just continue dividing them in half again. Like this. You can just line up the edges and then just crease in the center.
then do the same thing on this side. And then last one. So that's what you do. Right there, we divided all of those units in half. Now we need to divide them in half two more times. And for this time, I'm just gonna reverse every couple um, of these folds here, every other one, just to make it so that I can lift them onto the next crease a little bit easier. Like that. So now, you're just gonna take these and I'm gonna fold them to the center crease. However you wanna divide these, just you gotta divide all the units in half again. So I'm going and um, folding the edges up and then when I get halfway, I'm gonna flip it around and do it again. Now I'm going to turn it over and just crease these. Now I'm going to just rotate it like this and then fold them all up again. like that and then we can turn it back over and crease them And there and now can unfold and flip it over this way and now um the mountain folds that I had there I'm just gonna remake them as valleys because that's how this is how I um just whatever your particular way is to divide the paper So basically we just divided all those units again, like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over with this so they're all mountains on this side. And I'm just gonna fold this edge up to the crease. And then fold the next one up because they're all mountain folds, so you can just fold every layer up. And what I'm doing is taking the mountain folds and folding them over like that, because it makes another crease. Just like that.
And then once I'm done, I'm gonna go through and crease all these again. This is almost halfway. Now I'm gonna turn it around and rotate and do the same thing here. And again, I'm just making the mountain folds and um, folding them up over onto the next layer. Like that. And this is the last time we have to divide these, the paper in this direction. like that so now I'm gonna turn it back over and all these mountain folds I'm just gonna go back and crease Just like this and be careful when you get to the center because you have this flat that you don't want to bend up. And then unfold. And then do the same thing on this side. Just creasing them sharper. And then the last two. Alright, so that is the finished creases we need in that direction. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to fold these back into position along these valley folds just right into there. And then I'm gonna reverse these folds right here to make them line up with the ones behind. And you don't need to do it with the ones behind. You can just make that two mountains. Like that. 
that so that when you fold it over on this crease, they will all line up like that. Then I'm just going to reverse them on this side real quick. So now, fold these back over on the creases that go up to the corners, like that. And now, um, what we're gonna do is take this edge right here, and you're gonna fold it up, but just make a mark right at where the third um, unit is. So, fold it up there, and count one, two, three, and then right there, just make a mark make a crease there and then you can see in the third unit we have a crease so then do the same thing right here I'm just gonna fold this up and make a mark on the third unit and what this does is it allows us so that when we fold this up we're gonna um fold it up this entire bottom part on this point. So, find that point and do that. What I found easier to do was to unfold this and fold this entire thing up because I found it just to be neater and more reliable. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're just folding up on where that point met that kind of cross there. And then do the same thing on this side. and then make this whole fold up like that. And you can also see right here, there should be some more creases that you can use right there. You can see like right there, this you can make at that point. then unfold so we should have something like that and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fold this back the side and this side back and we're gonna fold this corner down like this on this edge and we're not gonna make a full crease we're gonna make another mark Fold it down to the edge. Like that. And it should go up to a crease that is five over from the middle. So it should be um, one, two, three, four, five. Fold that up. And it should be five over from the middle. And now you're going to crease on where it crosses the middle. So where it crosses the middle is right there. So I'm gonna crease there and unfold. And that's where it crosses the middle. So now I'm gonna unfold both of these and fold down and where it crosses the middle, right there. Fold down on that point. And then you can continue over to there.
just like that and unfold and it'll go through uh, that point and that point as well. So, that's what that should look like. Pull that over. And now I'm just going to remake these creases right here and then down here. Like that and unfold. So those are the two creases we have right now. Now we're gonna fold the area in between the creases into eighths. So first, what I'm gonna do is fold this behind, this entire part behind. And then uh, I'm gonna fold in half, well, the section. So I folded this behind. Now I'm gonna fold it over to the bottom right here, like that. like that and you just fold it down there and it will go through those creases there and there on those points so now we're going to unfold and what i'm going to do is make a mountain fold right here or actually a valley fold and fold this up. So you can see we now have this crease and we need to divide this part into four and this part into four. So I'm gonna turn it over, take this. I forgot to crease this back part, which I do separately to keep the layers more neat. Now we're gonna take this edge and fold it up to the top, right like that. And now on the back here, this part will fold over like that. So you can make that crease. I don't like to crease the fin right there. So I kind of just fold it to the side and crease around it. Like that, and then there. And now unfold like this. Fold this to the top. So that's what we have now for these creases. Now we're gonna fold um, on the bottom, kind of do the same thing fold this edge to right here. So, done this, we're gonna fold this edge to there. So just fold that up. And that should make a crease like that. Now unfold and you'll see we have these creases one, two, three, four. Now we just need to fold them all in half again. So what I'm gonna do for that is just take the middle and fold it to here like this. like that 
you can see that made a crease right there. And I'm gonna fold the tip of that behind. Then unfold. And now do the same thing but fold it up like this. And this should fold up right like that on these edges. Just like this. And then go on the back, increase it, should go through one unit there. Like that, and unfold. So now we just have to do this crease over and then this crease over. So I'm gonna take this and fold it up and onto the crease, that's this bottom part. like that and then fold this edge out increase it like that so this is all eight units, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal units on here. And I'm gonna make them all um, mountain folds for right here because that's the way it's gonna be collapsed. So at the bottom, we're just gonna start there. Then only a couple of them should be mount should be valleys right now. Yeah, like that. So and I you want to make this back panel of valleys. So that's what that looks like. So we should have this looking just like that. So now, once we have that, we can start on creasing the actual part of the pufferfish. So for that, what you do is right here, on this very edge, we're gonna start by making um, a fold down. Like, on this very last unit, we're gonna make a fold down like this. Like that, so that should go between those two, like that. And now, we're gonna make a fold going up like that and this is with that behind but I'm not a big fan of doing it that way and then folding over layers and doing them through like five layers at a time so what I do is I have this and you can really get all the creases you need through here so I unfold it to this layer like this and you can make all the rest of the creases off of one of these creases so just what you do is you fold down and then just continue this chain going all the way across the entire paper. Like that, and then when you get here, you go down and back up here and then down and then back up here so just like that and those are the creases we start and now you're just gonna continue that all the way down 
to there on this side. So just continue making these creases up down like this by going like that, down, up, down, up, and just continue doing that all the way down the paper. Once you have them across the bottom, it should look like this. And now, what we're gonna do is right here on the bottom, you can see we have these creases like that. Now we wanna make creases that are um, different from that. Because in this direction, if we continue them on, they go up like that. But we wanna do it in the opposite in between those. So we're gonna make X's going in between on this, on this layer of, um, you can see this is like a cube here, a cube with a line through it. On the mountain folds are the cubes and then there's a valley through it. So on the cubes, you wanna make X's through them. Like that. And then do the same thing right here. Make an X through that. Like that, and then make another one right here. Like that, there's another X. And you're just making these box axes all the way down. Just like this. So once you have this row of X's, like that, oh, and you can make it on the corners also, like this. Yeah. So that's on the corners. And then, um, so just continue making these X's all the way down. Like this, so X, X, like that, and then those will just go all the way down, and the points should go in between that, like this point should go, the point should line up, like that. So now just continue making this X pattern, like that, continue that all the way down, like that. So once you have this X pattern done, it should look like this. So those are the X's on this layer. Now we're gonna go up another layer and make another X pattern, except this one is gonna be, this X pattern is gonna be slightly off. So if we go to some place around the middle, it's gonna be like, like how this was, if this had been an X pattern, this is gonna go up like this. So it's not continuing this crease it kind of goes over and then the x's will go in the opposite way so i'll do a couple just to show like that that would be an x for these squares on this new layer like this so what they look like together is the same as the other one just slightly shifted off at the base like that so there's a couple there's three and then you can kind of see how it'll relate to the other x pattern below it so now continue those all the way through so this is what that should look like right here you can see 
we have this row of X's going along. I didn't finish it all the way across. This row of X's, and then I kind of added this corner over here and just creased through that. And now we're gonna add another row of X's on top of this. And this is the pattern that's gonna go all the way up to the top. So that's the X's. Then we're gonna go to the middle. Like that. So that's another X on top of that layer. And then continue those around. Like that. This is what the pattern looked like. So we started with this kind of swiggly line down here. Then we moved on to these X, X pattern that goes this way. This one is slightly offset. And then this one is slightly offset. And then at the very end, once you do all those, you'll end it the same way you started it with that chain right there. And that's what we did here. We have these this bottom chain along there. First row of X's, second row of X's, and then it goes up. So now continue this pattern all the way up to here. And right here, this long flap is where you should start to make these creases on the upside of it. So this is where you should make the up down creases like that. Once you have the entire X pattern all the way from all the corners, even folding these in, not through the fins, but all around them, all the way up to it. So now I'm gonna jump to what this looks like on this paper once I finish on this paper. All right, so this is what I have now that I've pre-creased pre everything. And you can see on the back, that's what it looks like. Now I've done the pattern and then I finished it off on the top row with that goes. So to start the puffer fish, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start collapsing the actual kind of spines of the puffer fish now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start kind of at the corner on the edge and make, it's gonna be mountain folds on the end. We're gonna go to this corner and make a mountain fold kind of along here along this and get ready to pleat the paper so we're gonna make a mountain fold here a mountain fold here so that kind of goes like that and then this flattens into there and continue this all the way up to the end and pull it over and now we're gonna do the same thing again. So take this, and we're just pressing this corner in like that. And continue this all the way down. Like that. All right, so now we're gonna do that again. and just continue doing this all the way down. and continue cleaning the paper along with it. Reverse fold again. Right here, the layers, you'll have to check on the back because they might start to separate a little bit. But if you look on the back, you can kind of hold them together a little bit.
this. So we're just pleating the paper like that. All right, so this is what I have. I just continued doing that all the way down. And then these flaps are still kind of sticking out like that. I'm gonna move this down like that because we're gonna start on the next row now. So on this next row, well, basically what I try to do when I do this is so that I don't have to um, reverse these creases a lot. I just find the different steps that I can go to the different jumps of collapsing that I don't have to do this. So the next step, this is the first step right there. Then the next step's a little bit farther. It is, we gotta make this in here, like this, and kinda start this pattern a little bit. And then this is where it can continue on. So we're gonna make that value kinda like a divot in there. Then bring this up. Fold that up like this. And start to press that into place. So there's one like this. So basically this is gonna be the opposite on this side. And we're gonna continue this pattern all the way down. So doing this. Put this in position. Kind of like that, and this is what it looks like on the bottom. Making this. Like that. And now, these will continue to be flat and line up. And it will continue down like this. So here what I did is I continued this pattern along the bottom. And then continued it on this so I can flatten it and so it's the neatest. And now what I'm going to do is kind of open this back up. And lay this into position. Like this. Just like that and kind of press that in. So this will come together like this and that'll stick in there so that's kind of what I do I crease it separately and then stick that in. Like that, and then you can collapse this and press it tight. I kind of keep this part kind of loose. Like, I'll crease kind of the ends of this, but like that, but try not to crease this fin here. And now just continue this pattern across. All right, so this is what it should look like once you have all those folds in place. So that was kind of um, the second part of the move that you do all the way down. The first part was just getting it this first layer. So now once you have this, this will get sorted out in I think two more moves. But um, yeah, so this should kind of just stay on there like that. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna do the same thing. Just take this down, pivot this down like this. So you don't have to move these creases. And continue like we did on the very first row. Just Hold this down and do this. And you keep reverse folding this edge in and do that all the way down. All right, so this is what I have. I completed this part and I kind of kept these just sticking up a little bit. I folded those out. But now we can work on 
this next move, which is going to be the same thing. It's this is going to be a pivot right here. Like this. And move this out. And then in the middle, there's going to be this with these X's. Just kind of make these creases like that. like that and then press this up and continue this along just like we did for the second step and then I'm going to show you what happens once you get to the fin all right so this is what I did for this so you can see right here this is the fin and what I did was right here I just kind of collapsed this and made this top part go into the this to did it and then right here, I just kind of twisted this under. So this is how you get the maximum amount of fin while getting the maximum amount of the pattern look undisturbed. So then you can just continue on. So that's what it should look like. Just continue on to the end of the paper. So this is what it should look like once you have all this collapsed. Now we're going to go back to the first step and do the same thing. And this is really what we're going to go up doing. We're doing the set of long steps, which we just did. And then the first step, which is just pivoting it, pivoting it down. Then we um, go to the long series of collapses again. And we're going to continue kind of this pattern going up until we get to here. Then I'm going to check in and show you how to collapse around this middle fin. All right, so this is the completed pattern. It just ends like this, and you have to reverse these creases. There's the bottom. But this is what I did with this. Right here, I just took this point and folded the point and folded that behind. Then just followed these creases out like this in there, and then just on both of these sides did that. So that's for the center fin. And that's what that should look like. So this is the fully collapsed puffer fish. You'll see it'll start to curl like that. And this way. So this is where it'll start to make the, the ball sort of pattern. All right, so now we're gonna make the eyes. So I just popped out these um, units right here. And what we're going to do is kind of invert them like this and just pop them out. And now you're going to kind of make like a circle around them like this and just kind of carve out a circle in the middle of that. And then I have a cotton ball here. I'm just gonna stick underneath this like that. To just kind of round up the eye. Like that. So you want the corners to kind of fold in like that. And now you can flatten it and start to shape it more. Kind of like that. So that is one of the eyes. And now I'm gonna do that on this side. So kind of just start to carve out the eye shape. So that's kind of the eye shape. Now I'm gonna get this cotton ball and put it underneath. Like 
and there you go that's kind of what the eye should look like kind of like that so if these don't fully fit in you might have to adjust this crease back a little bit so that that will line up like that and then the same with this back one just kind of press that in a little more so that this will line up straight with the eye like that then I'm gonna do that here just push that in a little extra like that. But to keep the cotton balls in place, I'm just going to use a dot of glue to open this up. And then just put like a little bit of glue in there. Like that. And then on the sides a little bit. Like that. And then you can put the cotton ball back in. Make sure that's in good position. Kind of like that. Then you can do that for the other side. So you just take the cotton ball out, put some glue in the bottom, and then put some glue on the sides. And then put the cotton ball back in. like that so that is the eyes so the next thing we need to do is we can round out the shape here so we're gonna find this in the middle which is in between the two eyes so that's this we're gonna open this up to that and then start to form the puffer fish around this fold it in half like this and you can start to kind of expand it to kind of stretch it out and then make sure you're stretching out the entire puffer fish and not just the little bit of it so right here it's only one part of it getting stretched out you want the whole thing to stretch out like this and then round that just like that so now we round this should look something like that you can close it off so what I'm gonna do now is right here on the bottom I'm gonna glue this together so these flaps I'm gonna glue together and just this bottom you kind of just glue this part together so that it's seamless and can be folded like this in kind of a sort of tube and before you fully glue it together you want what we're gonna end up doing is right here this entire part will get folded in so kind of just pick a point here and start to press these mountain folds in like this and make a split along there like this
so that this can fold in. And when this does, it'll create the lips of the puffer fish. So we're gonna do the same thing here, but you don't need to fold this part out. Well, actually you can. Kinda like that. Here's kinda what I've done like this, and this will fold in like that to make the lips. And then this will just hook kind of in there. Like that, when it glues. Just like that. And then this can kind of get folded onto some of these parts like that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's glued all right so I glued this top bit and I'm gonna glue this side here just kind of so it can tuck behind a little bit I'm gonna do that there and then right under here put a little bit of glue and that should allow this to tuck under there I'm gonna clip that off for a moment. And what I plan for this to do is for this to tuck behind. And what I did here was I kind of made this so that this part can fold over the top of that. And this part can tuck in behind there, behind that edge. And then this can continue the pattern on. So that's what I'm gonna plan to do. So right now what I'm doing is I'm overlaying these over top of each other with glue right there. Kind of holding it in place until it dries and then moving on to the next section. So this is where the seam was. And you can't really see it because that's where like, what the mouth looks like. It looks something like that. But yeah, and then right here I'm just going to glue these long strips together. And then we can move on to the tail and the fins. This is what it should look like when it's fully shaped together. So you can kind of press here and it'll kind of start to expand. You can open the mouth a little bit like this. And you can see. And it'll kind of expand a little bit like that. And now we're going to work on the fins and the tail. So now we can work on the fins. And for the fins, what you kind of do is you fold this tip behind and then just make a series of creases like there and here. You kind of just pleat it over and over on top at that point. So do it again right here. You're kind of just gonna fold here and just pleat up and down. Kind of like that, and then uh, just fold the tip behind. Like that. So those are the side fins. So now for this fin, what I'm gonna do is just kind of pivot this part back. Like that. And then the same thing on this side. And then you can kind of do the same wheat thing right here. Kind of fold this the way you want it on top. And you can kind of just do this top part to taste. And then for the tail, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this and fan it out, kind of like this. And you can kind of fold down the layers to your taste, but it kind of just fans out like this, like that, and then shape it kind of out like that. That's what you do for the tail. So it should look like that. 
and then it can puff out and expand super thin, go super thin. So that is the puffer fish. And um, I'm gonna have the picture of my finished model as the thumbnail for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already so that you do not miss more tutorials like this and see you in the next video.